Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and as we are approaching the end of July I am here with my Sew My Style reveal. So July I have been one of the leaders. Um, I also, as I just delve right in, let's address the elephant in the room. So I colored my hair. <laughs> I hate having my hair one way for too long. I just crave change. Um, and went to the hairdresser today and literally said, let's just do something different. So I've actually gone back. This is my natural hair color. Um, as you can see, it matches my eyebrows and everything. She warmed it up just a tad from what my natural hair color is, just to give it a little bit of depth. Um, but yeah, this is it. I look just like my mother now. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm gonna wear it like this for a while. We'll see. Maybe I'll add some of the blonde back in later. Um, but again, I just, it's just hair and I love changing it up. So anyway, just wanted to address that elephant before I go on. Um, but yes, we are ending the near, or nearing the end of July, which was been jean making month for Sew My Style. We had five patterns that we did this month. We worked on the Ames jeans by Cashmerette. We had the coupon codes and everything for the Ames jeans from Cashmerette, the Dawn jeans and the Ash jeans from Megan Nielsen, and then the Quadra jeans and the Fulford jeans from Thread Theory. So those were the five patterns that we kind of used this month, and I've made three of the five patterns here, um, and I'm going to kind of talk you through them a little bit. But I hope you've enjoyed all of the tutorials. Um, I will post links up here. I've been forgetting to do that. I get to the end of editing and upload it. I can't add the cards until the videos are uploaded onto YouTube, and sometimes my brain just forgets to go back and add the cards. So sorry, I've been late. Um, I think I've remembered to go back and do those most of the times, but I have been late on that, so I apologize. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I will pop links up to um, the two fly tutorials that I did, which were the exposed button fly and the regular or hidden button fly, and then also how to do a flat fell seam. So I'll post links up to those three videos up here right now. Um, and then I also answered some jean making questions and that kind of thing um, and talked about notions and um, fabric and all that. So I'll pop a link to those two videos right here. And that's all five videos I think that I can even post cards up to. So anyway, <laughs> those um, kind of were the whole month as me being one of the leaders for this month. So let's delve in. So this is the reveal day. I'm going to talk about the patterns that I've made and then show me in them. So let's get started. And I have a special model this time. We'll start with, with his. So I made the Quadra Jeans by uh, Thread Theory. This was my first time making jeans for my husband. Um, I did, again, the Quadra. We had the Quadra and the Fulford, and they're a little bit different cut. So this one's just a little bit lower rise, I think, than the Fulford. Um, but it's a straight leg. I did it in a stretch denim, actually. The pattern calls for um, non-stretch denim, but I used a stretch denim for him just to give him a little bit more comfort. Um, did the contrast details in your classic uh, gold thread. We've got the rivets on there. Um, I did the button fly on here, which actually he doesn't like. <laughs> but I needed uh, to make a pair of pants that used it so that I could do the tutorial. So we've got a button fly on there. Um, I used two different fat quarters that coordinate for his pockets on the inside, just as something fun. Um, what else? I hemmed these a little short on him, and you'll notice as he's wearing them, I mean, that's a simple thing. I can let those down a little bit. Um, oops. <laughs> but I just haven't done that yet. But yeah, I've just done all classic top stitching. Um, I think they look fantastic on him. Um, so he's a very picky, picky customer. So we'll see if these, if he does get the wear out of them that I think that he should. Um, but yes, I was, you know, it was no different um, than making jeans for myself as far as the steps were concerned. I think the fitting, I basted the outside seams um, and basted the waistband on before and had him try them on. Um, and of course I took the measurements and stuff before I made them. And I had to take them in quite a bit on the out seams. Um, they were pretty big. And that could also have been though that I was using a stretch denim uh, that I needed to take it in quite a bit. But you know, once I did that, I think that they look fine. Uh, he thinks the rise is a little low to his liking. Um, but again, that's just a pers personal preference. I think he looks really good in them. So um, yes, that's my handsome husband that is modeling these jeans for me today. 
Um, as he pointed out, he's like, I didn't ask you to make these, and he didn't. Um, but I'm glad that he is a willing model for me so that I could um, show one of the men's patterns on someone and also um, use them as one of my tutorials. All right, so now we'll get into me. Um, I made both the Megan Nielsen patterns for myself, and I've made a million pairs of these, not really, but a lot of pairs of the Dawn jeans. Um, but I don't have any shorts for myself. I've made shorts, clearly these have been worn too. I've made shorts for my daughter, but I've not made shorts for myself. So um, I wanted a pair of the Dawn shorts. I love these so much. I used a white denim that I got in the remnant sale from Blackbird Fabrics. It's just like a non-stretch bull denim. Um, in the white, I just did regular muslin for the pocketing so that it wouldn't show through on the front. I went with gold for my, I did the exposed button fly on these, but I went with the gold buttons uh, and gold rivets. I'm just, I just really love these. And these are going in my module two lookbook, which will be on Tuesday. So you guys have that to look forward to. But I, yeah, these are gonna get a ton of wear this summer. In fact, I kind of wish I'd made them earlier in the summer so um, I could have gotten more wear out of them. But yeah, these are definitely gonna be in heavy rotation for the rest of the summer. I really like the inseam. It's a little bit longer inseam. And uh, with the high-waisted, I just think it's, a, it's very flattering. So love these, love these, so yeah. That's the shorts view of the dawn. And then finally, I made her ash jeans. This is my first time to make her stretch jean pattern, which is the ash. And I did, uh, this isn't the skinny jean. This is the straight jean, I believe. She has, that's what I love about her patterns. She does so many variations on one. So I think there's four different leg views. There's a skinny, a straight, a wide leg, which is just kind of wide all the way down, and then a flare where it's fitted and then flares, you know, like, like a flare jean. And I just love how she does that. And she's got the longer length and um, like a regular floor length and also a cropped. I made these cropped, and again, I didn't do the skinny, I did the straight on these. Um, mostly because I used a stretch cotton sateen from uh, Minerva Crafts. And I'll be talking a lot more about this fabric because I'm gonna be doing a uh, wardrobe module with them um, so you'll see that a week from Tuesday. Um, so that's going to be kind of my transitional into fall wardrobe. And these will be part of it. <laughs> so you're seeing the finished make before you even hear about the fabric. But again, it's a little thinner than a normal denim that I would use. But I wanted something that was not denim, um, something a little different, because I feel like I fall back on jeans a lot. So I like the jean styling, but I wanted just something a little different. And again, this is a little thin, maybe, um, especially because it is so fitted. It definitely, it has the stretch that's needed. That's, that's not a problem at all. But I do feel like, and it could be the sateen too, because it's got a sheen to it. You can see the wearing wrinkles more in this fabric than, let's say, a denim. Um, and that's probably more to do with the sheen and the fact that the fabric's just a little bit thinner um, because when you're wearing stretch jeans, real fitted jeans, you're going to have wearing wrinkles. That's just, there's no um, ifs, ands, or buts about it. Just because of the way that the ease works around you, you're going to have some under your butt. Um, I do have some in the back of my knees, and you'll see in this video. That's because I have a full calf. I have that happen a lot. It just seems to be a little bit more pronounced here than it is typically. Um, and again, I think it's just the sheen of the fabric. Um, but you know, I think I would choose it all over again. I think these are a nice alternative to like uh, blue jeans, and um, yeah, I really like them. I think they're gonna they're gonna look really good with my boots. My I've got a pair of booties about this color um, that I'm excited to wear for the fall. Um, ooh, let's show you the insides. And also in that Minerva capsule that I'll be talking about, I did the uh, zip fly on this mostly because on stretch denim, you should almost always, I mean, I didn't know my husband's jeans, but if you're wearing a real tight stretch denim, you should almost always go with the zip fly because otherwise you can get really easily get pulling because um, they have to be so tight for it because of the stretch that you can get pulling if you've got just buttons there. But I did this fun paisley cotton lawn for the inside of my pants. Aren't those beautiful? I just love those. Um, and then again, I went with the brass hardware. Yeah, I'm just real pleased with how these turned out. I did do a little bit of a contrasting, like a gray top stitching, but it's not overly contrasting. So just a little hint of contrast there with the um, 
the details but yeah I love how these turned out they're gonna get a lot of wear um, and I'm very excited for you to see my fall transitional wardrobe I have a couple of modules that I'm working with fabric stores on for those two um, for two of those modules and I think it's just gonna be it's gonna be different it's kind of not gonna be your typical fall colors so um, I'm very excited to show you that but still has a fall essence to it but anyway <laughs> Okay, so that's all I have for today. I think August for Sew My Style is bra month, and we are doing the um, Emerald Erin's Jordi Bralette, and also her Black Beauty, her newest Black Beauty bra just came out, and then also Green Style Creations, their um, Power Sports bra, and I'm very excited to sew that up. Um, I've been very interested in being able to make myself a sports bra. Um, I do low impact exercise. I walk a lot and then I do yoga. So I don't need anything that's like overly, I'm not running or anything. So I or doing high impact. So I don't need anything super supportive. But since I am large chested, I do need a little bit of help in that um, arena. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So that will be, and I'll pop pictures of those bras up here. That's going to be next month. Um, I'm not in any way, shape or form involved in next month at all. Um, but then I am a host, not a leader, but a host for September. So here we are chugging our way through the year. <laughs> okay. So that's all I've got for today. Um, and again, I will see you Tuesday with my module two lookbook. And actually I have enough items to cobble together a third module for my summer, but it's, I've not made anything. I take that back. I made one thing new, but that's just because I really wanted to try out a pattern. Um, but everything else is, um, being pulled from my um, spring wardrobe, my spring module. So um, I'm going to do module two lookbook on Tuesday and then on Friday I'm just going to kind of talk you through, I mean there's no sense in doing a makes video because I'm not making anything new. So I'm just going to do for the third module, you know, this is what I've pulled from my spring capsule and then I will show you the whole shebang um, a week from today on next Friday. And then we are getting into fall sewing. So I've got um, a whole bunch of stuff, fun stuff planned for that. Okay, so that's all I've got for today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.